Hi everyone and welcome back to another TCW um, recording of episodic programming match one for this week nine TV as you can see Muda versus Flair and we have some big news before we kick off week nine TV Post Soul Survivor pay-per-view. Obviously, we've been having a lot of house shows which have mentioned the Alliance Tag Title Tournament. And great news for you TCW fans. And that is that Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen took home the gold out of that uh, Alliance Tag League. Uh, they would win. And I can post the link to that video uh, below. Look for it on this video as well as next because those two champions will be in the very next match. Match two of this very card in a non-title tag match against Hogan and Magnum who were also in that tag league. We have a very, very good card, so I hope that you watch through each and every single video two title matches. So let's get it on with match one as Muda takes on the Nature Boy. And Muda, a fantastic NWA champion. The same can be said for Flair, who won it uh, a 16 times, a record setting 16 times. Muda has been on a legendary tear, so to speak, and will look to continue those good fortunes. And what will certainly be a huge match to advance his cause. But he will go in, he will be going up against the magical nature boy. This is definitely a dark horse match to steal the show. And what better spot than the show opener for these two performers? This one has five stars written all over it for sure. And you're going to see the, these two have somewhat similar styles, but Muda has uh, a lot more unorthodox, uh, unorthodox offense. He utilizes strikes a lot more often than than Flair with the exception of his knife edge chop. And from my perspective, you know, after two whole months of competition, house shows, I've said it a thousand times probably by this point, and that is that these two have champion written all over them mark my words by the end of the end game year these two will have held either the u.s heavyweight or duos titles when all is said and done and this is definitely an opportunity for both to advance up the card and uh, take a step in the right direction towards getting a title shot. Now Muda seemingly has an alliance with people like Shinsuke Nakamura, Naito, Anoki. We saw him interfere in matches as of late yeah. as well as tag with those people and you have to wonder what their goal is 
why the Alliance, and what is their ultimate mission in TCW. Perhaps domination. Flair, on the other hand, we saw on the house shows competing with other members as well as tag uh, in tags on the episode episodic programming but has yet to form a stable in which he is certainly known he's been the leader of the four horsemen but we've yet to see it on TCW and whether that will ever come to fruition who knows but perhaps that is how Flair will be able to take the next step towards becoming a champion. And Muda is on the offensive and he's using that that mist to gain the upper hand over Flair. But Flair has seen it all. He's pulled most of it off himself. Again, you know, as a TCW commentator, uh, I'm over the moon as far as Hansen and Brody winning the Alliance Tag Titles. At the end of this endgame month after our pay-per-view, Andre, the winner of the Alliance Heavyweight Title. My goodness, it was nearly over as soon as it begun. Flair going for a roll-up. Andre, the Alliance Title Holder heavyweight title holder will be putting his title on the line and as soon as I can announce the participants I will right now it is a mystery to myself as well and a nice and Muda picks up the victory in the opener with a, a Steiner recliner of sorts, I believe. And that is a big marquee victory for him. Surprising to some extent that he was able to pull it off so quickly, but he has been on fire as of recent. Again, up next, we will have Magnum and Hogan going up against Bruiser and Stan Hansen in a non-title match. So be sure to stay tuned.